Now, 20 seconds right now, it seems like such a short amount of time, but just look at how much damage the Goliath is doing as they're waiting for him to come back in. And lacking that immobilization means they can't kite him effect. That's why he's able to charge on top of them, why he's able to bang them down so damn hard. And yet, we're going to see already the medic is down. Nice play to his support, though, using the first stealth ability, that's his classic. Bought some time for everyone to kind of reset, but they're still hurting. In the meantime, though, the trapper is just about to push it down. The fight's raging off. Talk to me how they're going to try to change this up now that they're back in They're just waiting for Rip to get back in. Um, Assault's going to try to draw his attention. That lightning rifle does a ton of damage, so they try to draw the aggro with their personal shield to gate that a bit. And, oh, we're actually going to see another incapacitation on the support. Losing the support is just crippling. You don't have the old little strike that you can call in. You don't have the personal shielding. This is going to happen when you don't have that. However, with the trapper back in, that's going to give him a chance to maybe kind of, but so far, no good hard moves. He's just continuing to deal massive amounts of damage and run over this team who is once again running at three quarters strength. We're going to see, yep, potentially another incapacitation, but uh, he's setting up. He's landing another smash, and yep, there we go. Once down, that's going to be the medic and the Goliath just continuing to pound the way. Setting up a huge assault on the no! Oh, you jerks! Cutting the feet at the very last minute. That's, uh, that's not fair, man. He can pull his own head off, and it's got little jets on the bottom of it. 
flying around and you can actually tag the monsters or the rest of the hunters on his team to help them track them really early on. And then he's also got sentry guns which he can deploy. So Hank, if he protects his team in one very defensive way, he directly shields somebody who's under attack. Bucket also protects his team, but he does it in an offensive way. So it's kind of cool because that's what support supposed to do. Find ways to protect his team, and they're doing it completely. The dam is the new map that we're showing people. The dam is a desert environment, so there are a lot of caves, like twisting caves. It's a little more vertical than the other maps we've shown, but there's also a lot of very tight and closed spaces. One of the things that's really going to stand out to a lot of people is that the wildlife in the dam is a lot more aggressive than this. and the monsters, they're going to be fighting the environment just as much as they're going to be fighting each other. 